A few days after Nuts and Milk, Hudson released their second game. Well, not their game. It was actually a port of a computer game, Load Runner. Load Runner was an action puzzle esque game published by Broderbund and developed by one Doug Smith. Smith lived a pretty average life as a game developer, with really only Load Runner under his belt. But later in the 90s, he was at Square and worked on the localizations of Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger. Doug sadly passed away in 2014 at the young age of 53. So Load Runner has you as a gold collector searching for gold in this cavern. Meanwhile, robots are attacking you if they look familiar. Hudson later used the sprites for the Famicom port of Bomberman in 1985. In fact, the ending of that game tied into this one by showing Bomberman becoming Load Runner himself. I guess his fellow Bomberman hated the fact he was different and now want him destroyed. So these robots are pretty aggressive. Thankfully, you can dig a hole and trap them inside. But be careful, you can also trap yourself, costing you a life, due to the hole eventually returning to solid land. The Bomberman can escape the hole, but if you trap them at just the right time, the hole will cave in on them, giving you some extra points. After collecting all the gold, you need to climb the ladder that appears, and then it's on to the next level. While you may have trouble with the Bomberman, the real trouble comes in the later levels where specific digging will have to be done in order to get gold, giving the game a more puzzle-like charm. Also, the Bomberman can be holding gold and hidden platforms await. In the original 1983 PC version, the entire action was on one screen. Thankfully, Hudson decided to use that brand new Famicom scrolling technology and made it multi-panel, opening up new challenges and bigger worlds. Also included is a level editor, much like the PC original, which is more usable than Nuts and Milks, as well as Load Runner having a level select secret much better than Nuts and Milks. On the beginning of a level, just press select, then A or B to go higher or lower, press start, and then there you go. Much better than constantly pressing the select just to get to the level you want. It's kind of strange that a game released only two days later would be so much better in that department than the previous game released by the same company. Maybe they were developed in different divisions. So with fun gameplay, good challenge, level select, and level editor, I'd say Load Runner is the first really good game for the NES. There weren't any bad games released yet, but none that really stood out more than just a fun distraction. Load Runner meets that goal of a good game to have in your collection for many playthroughs to come, and isn't hampered by dated controls such as Mario Brothers or Nuts and Milk. And Japan seemed to think the same. Unlike Mahjong and Golf, this was sort of a killer app in 1984, selling 1.5 million units. Broderbum themselves published the game in the US in 1987, where it went under the radar. Honestly, I can see why. Who wants to play a five-year-old computer game? The success led to a follow-up a few months later in 1985 with Championship Load Runner. I'm talking about it here because it's pretty much just like the original. However, the difficulty has been set to ball-busting hard. A lot of trial and error is involved right at level 1. So if you like a challenge, Championship Load Runner is for you. But for anyone else, this really just sets the example of super difficult games that appeals more to the Japanese. Load Runner would get two more versions later in 1987 by Irem. So if you can't tell by now, Japan likes them some Load Runner.